Praise God, my brothers and sisters. I uh, just want to share this video, and it's more about what's going on this week. I mean, if we look at what's you know what's been going on, and especially with the, the virus and this whole epidemic, I think it's very very interesting how this week and the Passover week, how you know this is what a lot of the news people are saying that this has been like the most deaths in the in history and I don't like watching the news to to bring that fear but it's it's a good way to be informed and then from there I ask God I start praying asking God for discernment because even in in um, in the Bible you know first John or in the in the epistles of John it says that we have to test every spirit don't believe every spirit and we got to test it so we ask God for the revelation you know it's not flesh and blood that's going to reveal these things to us but it's our father up in heaven and God knows everything so he's given us this this discernment this wisdom that we ask for an increase and it is only the Holy Spirit that knows that searches the deep things of God. First Corinthians chapter 2, it talks about how the Holy Spirit searches the deep things of God. Deuteronomy 29, 29, it talks about how God, He knows the secret things, right? But He also reveals it to His children. And I think that revelation comes day by day as we continue to seek Him. So God was just showing me, and as I was uh, reading into Exodus 12, where uh, Moses was uh, telling Pharaoh that the plagues were coming, and that the last plague was when all the firstborn were about to... He was pretty much um, going to kill every single firstborn throughout the whole land. And those that that did a sacrifice, right, an animal sacrifice and shed the blood where he told them to do on the post, then the death angel would pass over. It would go, it would kill the firstborn child from all the way up to the king to even the slaves of, of, the, of the kingdom or, you know, of, of, of Egypt and all that land. And what God is saying today, what God was showing me is we're shutting doors. He had everyone and shut their doors and and be inside their homes just like what's going on right now with us being indoors being shut and there's something going through the land God probably did it and we you know this is what he's confirmed he didn't create this because everything from God is good but sometimes he allows certain things to happen for us to get closer and what God was showing me that there's churches out there and I got to be bold about this that are idling church that are idling religion and you might be getting close to the pastors you might be getting close to the leadership the people that are running it but God says I don't need you to just build a relationship with them I need you to seek me to know that this is truly coming from me that this is the truth and we worship God in spirit and in truth and what God was showing me that as we get shut out because as the Israelites were shut in after the death angel passed over they became they were slaves at this point they were slaves you might be a slave to bondages from the enemy to to like to Pharaoh to, to enemies that are coming against you you might be a slave to to certain things but Jesus already came to break every single chain to forgive us to redeem us and it is through Jesus's perfect blood and Jesus is the perfect Passover sacrifice the Lamb of God who has taken away all the sins of the world Apostle Paul talks about this the book of Hebrews but also it was already prophesied in Exodus 12 that somebody that is greater right this is what John was saying I'm gonna baptize you with water but there's gonna be somebody greater that's coming that's gonna baptize you with fire and this is Jesus Christ. Jesus didn't even what what's so in and in, in, in what I love about Jesus is he didn't even all the religious people they weren't approved of what Jesus was doing. So Jesus, what God is telling us is we got to uh, uh, we got to sacrifice some things on that altar. We got to sacrifice ourselves. In Romans, you know, he talks about how we, I beseech you my brethren to offer thyself as a living sacrifice holy acceptable and pretty much the perfect will of god right that is perfect to god and you know we might not be perfect but the one that we focus on is perfect the one that saved us that died on that cross and was the perfect sacrifice we plead the blood of jesus over ourselves but my whole point with this is as we come out of this, I truly believe after this season is done, we're going to be on our way to the promised land. But God is saying it is a time to repent. It is a time to let go of religious practices. It is a time to let go of confusion, of any lies, of any pride, of any rebelliousness. You know, he did say, he said, if my people who call me by my name, who seek my face and pray and humble themselves, right? 
and turn away from their wicked ways. This is a time for us to repent, to change, to be transformed so we can share our testimony. We overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony and the way that we transform. And God is looking for a man, for a woman that is willing to offer a sacrifice that when they come out of this, there's going to be promotion. You might be locked in in this season, but God promised us that He's going to bless us, that better days are ahead of us, that this too shall pass, and that we are covered by the precious blood that Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, He's already done it for us. He's already put it and nailed it all on that cross. And those that believe with all their heart and that confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, there's a peace that we seek, the Prince of Peace. There's a peace that's going to come upon us that surpasses all understanding. And you can have true peace, tr true joy. Yes, the world might be shaking, but we serve a kingdom. We serve a God whose kingdom does not shake. And when Jesus came and the Pharisees said, this is, this guy's blasphemy. They called Jesus a blasphemy. They said he's blasphemy, everything he's doing. And these religious guys, the Pharisees, they were condemning Jesus. They, they didn't even like each other. And they partnered up to come against Jesus. But Jesus said, you know what? My, my kingdom isn't of this world. And so are you. You are not of this world. You know, he said there's going to be tribulation. This is stuff that Jesus already preached. He already said there's going to be earthquakes. There's going to be wars against nations. There's going to be famines, pestilence all around. And you shall know that these are the last days. But he says, take heart. Take heart, for I have already overcame the world. I've already overcame the tribulation, and this is going to pass over us. And God gave me this revelation because this is the week of Passover. He said this is all going to pass over. He loves us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. And if you seek God, he says, you need to let go of all those religious practices, of all the ways that you were taught that were man-made and not from God. He says, seek me. Seek first the kingdom of God right? Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness shall be added onto us. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I focus on Jesus, the author, the defender, the perfecter of my faith. I focus on him. I don't focus on building, a, you know, that I, I believe in church. It is biblical. We need a fivefold ministry. We need to come together as a community, but we need to seek the, we need to seek the relationship over religion. And we need to break that spirit of religion. We need to break that bondage that a Pharaoh has come to try to place on us. But God says this too will pass over. That once you come out of this, there's going to be promotion. I'm leading you into the promised land. I believe that better days ahead. I believe that promises are always going to be good from God. That there's over 7,000 plus promises in that Bible for his children. Those that call upon the name of the Lord and believe with all their heart. So I believe it. I believe there's going to be blessings ahead. There's going to be promotion coming out of this dark time. Just like when Jonah came out of the whale, he saved the whole city. God says this, that we overcome the enemy. We overcome the enemy. We overcome Satan by the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ, the perfect sacrifice. We don't need to do any type of sacrificial thing. We don't need to celebrate Passover as an event because Jesus is our perfect sacrifice Jesus has already fulfilled he said hey I didn't come to destroy the law that Moses gave I came to fulfill the law so brothers and sisters I pray father God I just pray that the spirit of truth will fall fresh upon us Lord allow us to seek you in spirit and in truth allow your revelations to pour into our hearts open up our minds transform our minds our spirits and allow us to be different coming out of this season we thank you Lord for allowing your truth and your your presence to just fall fresh upon us Lord we need the move of the Lord we need your breath Lord we need the breath of the Holy Spirit who will guide us into all truth Lord we need the spirit of truth father God our teacher our comforter the one that searches the deep things of you, Lord. So, Father, we just thank you as we open up our hearts during this season. We might be shut down. We might be shut down. We might be behind closed doors. But now is the time more than ever to open up our word, open up the Bible, and seek you, Lord, and have an open relationship with you, Jesus Christ. We know that you allow things to happen for a purpose, and we believe in you. We're going to rejoice, Lord, no matter what. You said, count it all joy that the testing of our trials will produce perseverance. So, Father God, we know you're building 
building us up, Lord, for greater things. Because he who is within me is greater than he who is in this world. We love you, Lord. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged. I love you so much. Let's stay equipped. Let's get into his word. And let's, let's really take his kingdom. And let's expand it like never before. You guys take care and have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.